The vacuum catastrophe is one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in theoretical physics. It highlights a shocking disagreement between quantum field theory and cosmological observations. According to quantum mechanics, empty space, the vacuum, is not actually empty. It is teeming with virtual particles constantly popping in and out of existence due to quantum fluctuations. These fluctuations contribute to the vacuum energy, which in turn should cause space itself to expand at a staggering rate. But here's the paradox. When physicists calculate the vacuum energy density from quantum field theory, the result is 120 orders of magnitude larger than what is observed in the real universe. In other words, the theoretical vacuum energy should be so enormous that the universe should have torn itself apart long ago. Yet, what we actually observe is a gentle cosmic expansion driven by dark energy which seems to account for only a tiny fraction of this predicted vacuum energy. To put this mismatch into perspective, imagine you're measuring the weight of a feather, but your calculations suggest it should be as heavy as the entire Earth. That's how extreme the discrepancy is. How could our most successful theories predict something so wrong? Some researchers suggest that unknown cancellation mechanisms or symmetries in nature might suppress the vacuum energy to its observed level. Others propose that our universe might be one of many, and we just happen to live in one where the vacuum energy is low enough to allow galaxies, stars, and life to exist. This paradox has major implications. It challenges our understanding of quantum mechanics, general relativity, and even the nature of space-time itself. If we could solve it, we might uncover the missing link between quantum physics and gravity, leading to breakthroughs in cosmology, high-energy physics, and even quantum technologies. Could it be that our equations are missing a fundamental ingredient or does this point toward entirely new physics? Solving the vacuum catastrophe could be the key to unlocking the deepest mysteries of the universe. Quantum field theory predicts that empty space should have an enormous energy density due to vacuum fluctuations, yet cosmological observations suggest an energy density that is over 120 orders of magnitude smaller. This discrepancy, known as the vacuum catastrophe, challenges our understanding of quantum physics and general relativity. Resolving this paradox could lead to breakthroughs in fundamental physics and quantum gravity. If vacuum energy were as high as predicted, it would cause the universe to expand at an unimaginable rate, preventing the formation of galaxies and stars. It's like calculating that your phone battery should last for millions of years based on atomic energy levels, but in reality, it only lasts a day. Something fundamental is missing in the theory. Quantum mechanics predicts that even in a perfect vacuum, fluctuations in the quantum fields create a, a non-zero energy, often referred to as zero-point energy. While this energy is real and measurable in effects like the Casimir force, extracting it as a usable energy source remains speculative due to the unknown nature of vacuum stability. If harnessable, zero-point energy could revolutionize energy production and space travel. The Casimir effect demonstrates that two uncharged parallel plates in a vacuum experience an attractive force due to suppressed quantum fluctuations between them. It's like feeling pressure in an empty room because tiny, undetectable air currents are constantly pushing on you. Dark energy is thought to be responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe, and some theories suggest it could be linked to vacuum energy. However, the measured vacuum energy is vastly different from the amount needed to explain dark energy, raising questions about the nature of the vacuum and the fundamental constants of physics. This discrepancy remains one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in cosmology. <laughs> Observations of distant supernovae show that the universe's expansion is accelerating, implying the presence of dark energy with an unknown origin it's like expecting the warmth of a small candle to heat an entire city. Either the energy source is miscalculated or an unknown mechanism is amplifying its effects.
The inflationary model of the Big Bang suggests that tiny quantum fluctuations in vacuum energy were amplified to create the large-scale structure of the universe. These fluctuations, though originating from seemingly nothing, could have seeded galaxies and cosmic structures. This implies that what we call empty space is actually a dynamic quantum environment capable of generating entire universes. The cosmic microwave background radiation exhibits quantum imprinted fluctuations that align with inflationary predictions. It's like rolling dice and watching small, random numbers grow into entire mountains. Tiny fluctuations in vacuum energy shaped everything we see. The Casimir effect demonstrates that the quantum vacuum exerts real forces, proving that empty space is filled with fluctuating fields. This experiment involves placing two metal plates extremely close together, leading to an attractive force due to differential vacuum energy between and outside the plates. This result confirms that vacuum fluctuations are a measurable physical reality, even though their large-scale effects remain mysterious. Casimir forces have been experimentally verified at nanoscales and influence micro-electromechanical systems by causing tiny components to stick together. It's like feeling an invisible wind push two sheets of paper together, even though the air around them appears still. In quantum field theory, the vacuum is never truly empty, but constantly fluctuates with virtual particles that momentarily appear and annihilate. These virtual particles contribute to observable effects like the Lamb shift and Hawking radiation. Their existence suggests that even empty space plays an active role in particle interactions and energy conservation. The Hawking radiation predicted for black holes arises from vacuum fluctuations near the event horizon, leading to the gradual evaporation of black holes. It's like borrowing money from a bank that immediately disappears after a few seconds, except the temporary debt still affects reality. <laughs> Some theories suggest that our three-dimensional universe, including vacuum energy, may be a projection of information stored on a two-dimensional boundary. This holographic principle, inspired by black hole thermodynamics, could provide a new way to resolve the vacuum catastrophe by redefining how energy density is calculated. If true, it implies that reality as we experience it is fundamentally encoded on a lower dimensional structure. The entropy of a black hole is proportional to the surface area of its event horizon rather than its volume, hinting at a fundamental role for information storage in physics. It's like a high-definition hologram. The image looks fully three-dimensional, but all the information is encoded on a flat surface. The discrepancy between quantum predictions and observed vacuum energy might signal the need for new physics, such as modifications to gravity, additional dimensions, or exotic quantum fields. Some theories propose that vacuum energy cancels out due to unknown symmetries, while others suggest new particles that interact with the vacuum in a way that remains undetected. Discovering these effects could reshape our understanding of space-time and energy. Supersymmetry, S-U-U-S-Y, predicts that for every known particle, there is a heavier superpartner that could help cancel vacuum energy contributions. It's like an elaborate accounting error. <laughs> Something in the fundamental equations is miscalculated, but we don't yet know where the mistake is. <laughs> Experiments with ultra-sensitive detectors, such as vacuum birefringence tests and quantum optics setups, aim to probe the true nature of the vacuum. If the vacuum energy discrepancy is due to hidden physics, these experiments may reveal new forces, particles, or quantum gravity effects. The results could have profound implications for energy generation, cosmology, and fundamental physics. The PVLAS experiment investigates whether vacuum fluctuations interact with strong magnetic fields in ways that standard physics cannot explain. It's like trying to listen for whispers in a noisy room. Using more sensitive instruments might reveal hidden messages in the background hum of reality.